Hey Shelfies, David here with High Shelf Gaming, and these guys made this super cool thing, and we're very excited about it. We're going to start up a, an actual play, a stream, and record. It's a little different than most others. We're going to do an open world style West Marches game. And what the heck does that mean? Well, this guy did a video of it, but, but let me explain it here. The idea is that we have a bunch of players from the community that they've made their own characters, they've got backstories and you know places they're from and secrets they know and talents and, you know, the cool shit. And this group of players, I don't know, 15 or so large, a lot of players, they're all just members of the same nomad tribe. And, and nomad tribes in cyberpunk parlance are... You know, groups of they're like family you know everybody's been adopted into this family they're out on the open road they do deliveries and tasks and they play a critical role in the 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 world of cyberpunk these players are all you know together they they talk with one another they share information all of that stuff and you know four of them get together and make a group a posse a, a crew Yes, whatever. So these four get together. Oh, sorry. It's not quite showing up. Ha! These four get together and decide, all right, we're going to step forward and complete a specific objective. They tell me, David, this Sunday, the four of us want to go and rob a bank or uh, find out what's going on with all the pets in Pacific Heights. You know, chase down that mystery. They tell me ahead of time, they tell me when they want to play that, and, and that's the actual play. That's what we stream, is them going and completing that task. If they don't complete it in time, uh, it's a loss. But everything they do on mission, new secrets they discover, equipment they find, all that kind of stuff, comes back, either as character wealth or it improves the tribe. But either way, this you know group of players affects the world of themselves and the tribe and everyone around them. They go and have some downtime while a separate set of players gets together and they do their own shit, right? They get out and get into it. They go go to Night City, go and do some tasks, make a make a harrowing delivery. I don't know. They do something fun. All of this shapes tomorrow. So the missions they take on, the ones they ignore, all of that shapes the future. It's going to change the relationship with the other tribes in the area. It's going to change the relationship with gangs. It's going to change the relationship with corpse. All of that stuff means that there's going to be challenges and things coming up. It's going to get messy. But we're going to handle it four characters at a time out of a pool of 15 players. So everybody gets a turn. They all get to play. If you want to do more than just watch the game, we're going to set up a, an area for select members of the audience to come in and help us determine the future of the tribe. Where does it submit resources? Where does it focus its efforts? That's going to change the future of the game because that tells the players what their tribe cares about, right? So you as an audience member being a part of kind of tribe leadership help direct the future of the game. If you want to play, you have to join our Discord and, and kind of get signed up. I'll say right now, as of August 16th, 2019, we're full. We have 15 players. Now, some players may drop. We may add resources, add referees, add streaming time slots so we can support more players. But for right now, 15 is the limit. So just join up in the community. And when we open up invites again, just you know, raise your hand and, and you're in. Now, I can already hear some objections, you know, like the jumpstart kit, David. It's not the full rule set. What are you doing? Well, you know, I have this book too. We can just house rule it, you know, we just make it work. I'm really excited about this. We definitely want to get this game off the ground. So we're not going to wait for the full rule set. We're going to house rule some stuff. And, you know, if we need to make a change later, we'll make a change later. I'm just not worried about it. I think we're going to be fine. Another objection I can hear is, hey, David, you know, 15 characters, that's a lot to keep track of. Yeah, <laughs> it is. 100%. Um, we're going to be tracking everything in a program called Legend Keeper. Uh, Super excited to use Legend Keeper. It seems like a super easy to use tool. I'll be keeping a living journal in there as the game progresses of, you know, what the players influence and how the tribe changes as a result of that. And, you know, the ripple effects of their actions, all of that will be tracked in Legend Keeper. When we're able to share that with you all, you'll get to see it. Um, it might not take this form of Legend Keeper, but we're going to organize that information in some way to get it out there. 
Hopefully just on Legend Keeper, if I'm honest. But either way, we've got more stuff coming. We have uh, lore and system updates and all kinds of stuff to help kind of frame how we're going to take our interpretation of Cyberpunk Red, put the High Shelf Gaming spin on it, and use it as part of a big West Marches game with lots of characters doing lots of cool stuff and just really getting into an open world and, and mixing it up. So stay tuned. And as always, have fun and play well.